Hello and welcome back to 911 Scales. My name is Michael and today we are looking at one of my favorite 918 Spider models out there. Specifically a yellow 143 scale 918 Spider out of the 2016 Porsche Platz model car series. What that is and why this is my favorite 918 Spider model, that'll be the topic of this review. First of all, to everyone who's tuned in for the very first time and who is interested in my channel, thank you very much. I'm very happy about that. With these model car reviews, I'm trying to bring out some decent information about Porsche scale model cars. As usual, with my reviews, first of all, I'm going to discuss the real car and the model itself. Then I'm taking out my macro lens and we get an up close look onto the model. I show you all the wonderful details. And then in the end, I rate my models in my scores of price, quality, details, rarity and significance so that we can have a little scoreboard in the very end. So the 918 Spider, I think there is not much left which has not already been told about this car. Like I told you in my 918 Spider concept car review, by the way, link to that review is down in the description below. Make sure to also check that one out. Yeah, the 918 Spider combined the naturally aspirated V8 to electric power, making this the very first car to lap the legendary Nürburgring Nordschleife in under seven minutes. And also, this was the first Porsche available with the Weiser package. This 143 scale 918 Spider is not equipped with that package, but otherwise, it really is quite something. Made by Spark for the Porsche Museum. This here is, I think, the only version of a yellow 918 Spider, and it is the April model of that Porsche Platz series. Why April model? That's the case because back in 2016 and some years before that, the Porsche Museum brought out a rare model every month. And in 2016, these models were always limited to 400 pieces, and in the years before that, they were always limited to 500 pieces. Even though this model is limited to such a low number, Spark also released the model directly by themselves with only minor differences. To that model Spark added the number plate of the yellow 918 Spider press car which these models resemble and otherwise I think the models are pretty much exactly the same. But if you have that model in your collection please comment below and let us know if there are some other differences to the details. Speaking of details, let me get the camera up close to the model and i show you all its details. This time let us start our walk around on the top of the engine bay, which is the most dominant feature of the 918 Spider and a true celebration of this incredibly good sounding race car derived naturally aspirated V8. <laughs> Here on this model Spark did a very nice job of representing the mesh, the grills and the two top exhaust pipes, very nice. And also this tiny rear window here between the two roof bars. But then unfortunately this model is closed, so you can't look in the interior as nicely as with the 918 Spider concept car. Continuing at the amazingly sculptured rear of the car with the rear wing here in its extended state and I'm glad that it is. It just gives the model an overall more aggressive look. Beneath that the 918 Spider writing here is also very nice and to its side the two also very sculptured rear lights and since these are also on a real car just LED tubes these must have been incredibly hard to get right. Spark did them quite good, edges could be a bit sharper but otherwise lovely. And then on the very button the huge rear carbon diffuser with the reversing camera here and the reversing light there. On this side the amazing form continues. Details are also nice. First up the fuel fillet cap here on top. On the other side in the exact same spot you can find this charging socket for the electric battery. And even on this small models you can read here fuel and on the other side e-power. And then something to criticize, the inside of these air intakes are unfortunately just painted black and there isn't a mesh or grill or something like that inserted. And also the edges of the paint in these spots like these are not that nice, could be a bit better. And also the yellow paint inside the panel gaps like for example here, here or here on top of the roof this could also be a bit better painted then on this specific model they forgot to paint 
the inside on the, the door handle on the other side of the model. What on the other hand looks really nice is the small e-hybrid logo here and the sides indicated here on the front. These are not transparent plastic which I usually prefer but these are still very nice graphics. And then obviously the wheels. I am just a huge fan of the design of the non-Visor package wheels. Porsche logo obviously in the center and the acid green brake calipers behind it. And something which I have not seen on any 143 scale model car so far, the most amazing brake discs. Obviously these resemble PCCB ceramic brakes which are drilled, but on this model it goes a bit further. These are not just silver like on most models, they have some sort of paint on them that gives them a beautiful surface. Like on the model I reviewed for the first time, the 118 scale Speedster Heritage package, link is also down in the description below. The front also looks very nice, with the carbon splitter down here the two air intakes to each side which are also in the open position because these are active air vents. The air vent in front here on top of the bonnet looks very good and the two lights are also very nice. They even thought about a very small cover here for the tow hook. Next up as always the interior all black which I usually do not like but it fits here I think nicely to the yellow color of the car. But there are many details. First up, the seats have silver leather tuning and the 918 Spider is stitched into the headrests. Then again, a bit difficult to show you is the dashboard. It would be amazing if this model would be open top like the concept. Well, I guess the perfect model does not exist. The dashboard and the doors are highly detailed, having a lot of silver and carbon accents. Then we have the three very distinctive free floating instruments and the little screen in the dashboard behind that. And finally, we have the very high sitting middle console with its screens and buttons, a very detailed interior, even though it's just black, very lovely. Then finally, the packaging of the model. Like all 143 scale model cars, this also comes with a display plate and display case. Um, this here has a lovely 918 Spider logo here and the indication for its limitation 1 of 400. Unfortunately not an original limitation number but anyway very nice. And then also specifically to the Porsche Platz series the packages themselves the card box looks very nice. First up we have the 4 April here the indication of the Porsche Platz series that this is the April model car. Then behind that we have a nice photo of the 918 Spider's interior. Looks very nice. On the side the indication that this is the edition Porsche Platz 2016. And in the rear another lovely picture of the 918 Spider. And also that this one is limited to 400 pieces. Again, in the old days, I think Porsche really nailed it with the packages of the model cars. I think they should bring this back for also the newest and latest models. Way better than just the gray packaging, right? So this is overall a very lovely model, isn't it? Actually, this is also one of the oldest models in my collection. Yes, I only started quite recently with collecting Porsche model cars just a couple of years ago. But anyway, that's a topic for another video. Let me rate these models in our scores. First up, as usual, price. These were new back in the day, only 42 euros at the Porsche Museum. Quite a nice value, I would say. Today, these are a bit more expensive, ranging between the 45 and 55 euro mark, giving it a 7 out of 10. Quality could actually be a bit better. I really don't like how the panel gaps uh, are painted, and on this specific model, they also forgot to paint one door handle, giving it a 6 out of 10. Details. Here this model gets a high score. I really like the color of it giving it therefore an extra score at 8 out of 10. Rarity could be super high but Spark also released the same model just with the number plate. So giving it here a 7 out of 10. Significance for the 918 Spider is obviously very high. From its reveal in 2013 this was the most important Porsche on the road. Pretty much since just recently the Porsche Taycan arrived and therefore it's getting a 9 out of 10. And that means that the yellow 918 Spider gets a 37 out of 50 and puts it here on our scoreboard. And with that score this 918 Spider model is tying the 911 Speedster concept on top of our leaderboard. With a better quality or even being open top it would have easily gotten an even better score. And if you like to see the detailed scoreboard the link to my google sheet is down in the description below. So what do you think? Does this 918 Spider model deserve 
the top of our leaderboard let me know in the comment below and also feel free to point everything out i have missed and before i'm sending you to some high resolution pictures at the end of this video which by the way at least look awesome on a big 4k monitor i would I like to say thank you very much for watching really appreciate your lovely support and if you'd like to help me of spreading the passion for Porsche model cars please make sure to hit that like and subscription button down below it really helps me out very much appreciated also feel free to contact me on instagram at 911 scales i'm always happy for a little chat that's it for now tune in for the next time when i explore the Porsche model car world in 911 scales thank you very much Allah. ciao